Yo, this is Christian and I just came from the gym and today I want to talk about how much web developers make in 2021. I guess you are wondering, um, obviously I'm gonna make some sort of differences between like Europe and the US and Canada, of course, because there are certain differences and uh, I want to be upfront with this because uh, I started my career in London and most of the people that I was watching on YouTube uh, were from the US and they were talking about numbers like 60 grand, 80 grand, 100 grand and uh, the reality in Europe is different, okay? But you, the, the reality in, in Europe is different because the cost of living is different as well, okay? So um, from what I've seen from doing my research and stuff like that, I have noticed that in the US, the average salary, I guess, for a web developer is $100,000 per year, okay? For entry level, you should be looking at 60 to 80 grand, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. I know that a lot of boot camps are throwing like huge numbers out, out there, but the reality is that you'll be making 60 to 80 grand, which is not too bad if you think about it, right? Instead of going to a university and spending four years there, which is probably worse than spending money uh, because, you know, wasting time is worse than wasting money because you can always make more money, but you cannot make your time back. You cannot get your time back. Uh, you're spending four years in there. You are spending maybe 100 grand. I don't know how much is it for uni degree in the US. And then you're going to go into an entry level job and you'll still get 60 to 80 grand. But if you are some sort of genius and you end up working for Google, Amazon or Facebook, probably you'll be making more. OK. But entry level 60 to 80 grand. Now, after a one or two years, you'll be making 100 grand. And then I think the higher level of a web developer or a front end or a full stack is 150,000 per year uh, in the US. Also, it depends on the geographical region within the US, okay? So if you are going more towards the West, you'll be making more, I guess. Or if you are in a big city, you'll be making more. So I guess, what you are looking for is to get really, really, really good at what you're doing, like at your craft, right? Become really good at problem solving. And the second big thing that you have to be good at is networking and talking to people, okay? So social skills, you have to develop social skills. You should be able to know how to strike conversations with, with strangers and these strangers will give you opportunities. Now, I haven't been an employee per se for the past three years and I have been contracting which some might call freelancing. But the way I am contracted right now is I have like a six months rolling and this is like a normal practice in the UK and Europe and obviously depend, depends on your employer, right? Uh, but you are roughly looking at making 300 euros in Europe, 300 euros all the way to 1000 euros per day as a web developer, okay? so. Again, it depends on your ability to solve problems, your ability to understand your tech stack, your ability to speak with people. And when I say speak with people, I'm talking about knowing how to communicate effectively the problem that you are trying to solve, okay? How to talk with, uh, you know, need to know how to talk with the project managers, product owners. I've been explaining this uh, in other videos and I've been talking about this subject uh, in, an, in other videos. Now, you know, if you are, from a weird country, not weird, but a country that's not in Europe or in the US, I have no idea how much you guys can make. Obviously, don't really have that much hope that you'll be making $100,000 per year if you're coming from, I don't know, India or Nigeria. So I don't think it's impossible, but I don't think it's the easiest thing to achieve. You know, I feel like if you are in India and you're trying to make $100,000 per year, working for a company in the US is as difficult as climbing Mount Everest, okay? So that's my opinion. I might be wrong, I have no clue, but that's how I see things. Now, a lot of people are focusing on the money and the thing is, if you ask any aspiring developer, they don't really care about the money, but they care about the money, you know, but they are just ashamed to tell people that they care about money, okay? In the beginning, you shouldn't care about money, you know? I would say you should even work for free. That's my opinion, because you are kind of paying for the fact that you don't have experience, okay? And people are kind of taking a risk on you. Now, I might get a bunch of heat from others because I'm saying this, but again, I'm speaking my mind and I don't really care about what people say. But from your first job, I would say don't expect too much. If you can get some cash in, 
that's fine. You need to understand that you're a risk for a company, okay? So that's why it's very difficult for, for people to get hired, right? They, they have their Amazon clone, their Twitter clones and whatever they're copying off of YouTube and they have like this expectation that after two hours of tutorials, they will be kind of set for life. It's not like that, you know? I have put in the description of this video uh, a link for a video that where you can see the difference between a bootcamp graduate or aspiring developer in general versus one of my students and then you are, you'll understand why people don't get hired. So the link is somewhere here in the description of this video. There is not much to talk about salaries right now. The best way to find about salaries is literally to go on Indeed or Glassdoor. That's gonna do, do you all, uh, a better favor than me, right? But what you need to understand is that this skill can open other doors for you, okay? So people only think about the first level of consequences, you know, but every action and everything that you do, everything that you are, is like an onion, okay? And most people just see the outer layer of the onion, okay? So if you make $100,000 and we remove this layer of this onion, then that means you have extra cash, right? If you leave, if your living expenses are 40 grand, let's say, and you have an extra 60 grand, what can you do with that money? Maybe you can buy a house, you can get some mortgage and then you can rent out that house and that, that house is gonna give you money, right? So that's one layer. Another one would be investing into crypto, right? Finding some weird coins and investing money into them and then those coins will go 1000x. That's another level. Another one would be investing into mentors. Not me necessarily, because if you're gonna be a developer, you're not gonna need me anymore but there might be someone that might have a skill that you want to learn. So instead of being stupid and learning off of YouTube and off of free courses, you pay someone to teach you what they know so you don't waste your time. Remember what I said like a few minutes ago, don't waste your time because you're not going to get your time back. Same idea. Find someone that's already where you want to be and that person is going to help you or is going to contribute massively to get you where you want to get. So if you have an idea for a business, find someone that did it. Pay that person for consulting, okay? Maybe mentor is not the right word because a mentor is usually associated with free, but think about consulting. At the end of the day, you'll be a consultant for a company. So a company is paying you for advice and for the code that you're writing, okay? So it's not different than, for example, what I do. I'm offering consulting services to people so they can offer later down the line consulting services to different companies. It's the same process, it's just different, okay? Always think about the consequences of what you're doing, okay? Everything is like a but the butterfly effect, okay? Every single thing that you have is because of what you've done in the past. So if, for example, you are stuck, right? And no one is hiring you, Right, you can check that video in the description that I put in there. You'll see why nobody is hiring you. Okay, because of the things that you've been doing all this time, all these years that you've been studying web dev, right? Probably you're six months in, maybe one year, maybe two years, maybe five years in, and no one is hiring you. Guess what? Because of the things that you've been doing, you've been doing the wrong things, okay? And it's not uncommon to see a bootcamp grad, for example, that has been spending $17,000 for, for training and they can't get hired after years, okay? It's not uncommon. And that's because they were working on the wrong things. Now I'm gonna do something really cool starting next week, Sunday next week, yeah? I have my free Facebook group that you can join and there I'll go live. You can ask me any kind of question you want. Um, it's gonna be pretty epic. So uh, I'm gonna do some trainings, Q and A's. I'm gonna do random seminars about different concepts, about different things that you should be doing. So it's gonna be like this YouTube, but you can actually get in touch with me and ask me questions directly, okay? So the link for the Facebook group is in there. You, there is also a link for a comparison between a bootcamp grab portfolio and one of my students portfolios. So you can see the difference. You see why my system works so, so well. And then also, if you really want to work with me directly, there is a link for that to book a free consultation call with me or someone from my team, where we'll show you exactly what you have to do for your own specific situation to get you out of this situation where you are just copying stuff online and you are trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. I feel like I'm going like uh, crazy. Uh, I really like this, um, this uh, camera setup and I hope you like my, my hat.
my hair is terrible today, so I have to hide it somehow. But anyway, the links for that stuff, it's are in the description. There's my Instagram as well. If you want to contact me on Instagram, stay in touch with me. Uh, my LinkedIn as well is in there. You want to check for what companies I've been working on. You can stalk me there, I guess. So yeah, uh, a quick video for you today. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this week. I certainly had and yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers.